Let's go. Yes, sir, baby. On the Radar Radio, yo, special guest in the building. He just killed that freestyle. Our first ever Kentucky artist on the show. Tyron is in the building. My guy, what's up? I ain't know what it is. God, nigga. Welcome to the show. What's going on, bro? Chilling. That was different. I didn't when you when you had hit me. I guess I didn't understand entirely what you were saying. And then when I when you came in, you like you got the words, and I'm like words. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Look, we gonna we gonna do more. We gonna do more. But I but I should have I should have got that because I was watching the bootleg Kev freestyle. Shout out bootleg Kev. I was watching that like not too like literally like earlier this week, mm. like over the weekend. And I was like, shit, that's fire. Like how he did that, and it didn't click to me that that's like what he wanted, what you wanted to do here. Right, right, right. It's all good because I mean, like we come. You know, people say freestyle, you know what I'm saying? But like me, I come with the element of real freestyle. And that's not, you know, it's not a normal thing. You know right. what I'm saying? So that's totally understandable. It's not you know easy either. I mean, it's easy. Well, for you, I mean, for you, it's easy. Yeah, I've been doing it. I, I, I do this shit. How long you been doing this for? Uh, oh, Might be. Might be. It's either going to, but the next artist wouldn't know where this is. Yo, what's up, bro? You good? You want to just hang out in the back for me, all right? Yeah, we just finished out the interview. We just start, huh? Yeah, yeah, you good, you good, you good. We just started the interview. Give me like 20 minutes, all right? Because you came by yourself? All right, just when they come, just text me, all right? That's funny. The artists don't even normally know where the door is. Yeah, I didn't know where it was. Exactly. He was right here. Um, it's all good. So, okay, so what, what were we just talking about? So you've been doing this for... So I'll 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 redo that. So how long you been doing this for? Man, I've been doing this since I came out the womb, man. I do this. Hmm. Saying like I don't even remember when I started doing music. I just did it. You don't even you don't have the earliest recollection of when you started. The earliest recollection, uh, it's a radio station in my city. They had a they used to have a thing called Saturday Night uh, Street Party, and uh -huh. it was like this big contest. And I was like in elementary school, and I was the only, I wasn't even old enough to get in. And I won hmm. freestyling. So people Fire. was up there rapping and shit, and then I went up there and killed everybody, and I won and shit. I won some shit, like some tickets to a concert I couldn't even go to. I had to give them to my auntie. Oh, for, what, so, do you remember what concert? Uh, It was like some old school shit, like Cameo, and like, you know, it was like a big ass, like, you know how they doing festivals? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like yeah, some yeah. shit like that, but it was like a whole bunch of old school artists, and I wasn't old enough to go anyway, so I just gave them to my auntie. But you won the tickets, though? Yeah, I won the tickets. I won... uh. Some uh, this movie that was it was like a whole bunch of promotion for a movie and shit like it had a whole bunch of memorabilia for the movie I got all that shit and uh, they put me on the radio and shit like they called the radio and talked yeah, yeah, yeah. so you've been doing this hey one so how so I can't even ask you how many years because it's been your whole life at this point right yeah have you found it like difficult to break out of like Kentucky because I feel like it's interesting because I've actually sat in because of my job I've sat in, into a bunch of like Bryson and Jack and Jack interviews and, mm. and, and over the course of my career so it's been interesting like hearing the um kind of like you know artists from Kentucky talk about making it out of Kentucky because there isn't like the, at that many you know what I'm saying right uh I feel like that I feel like it's hard because we don't got it's not a music city you know what I'm saying so right for people to make it out of the city they got to go elsewhere I they got to be heard from somebody elsewhere because even though we got people that's from the city that do music, they went elsewhere. So they built, they established themselves in other places. So we don't got no labels in our city. We don't got no, you know what I mean? So it's like, it's just not a place for that. You know, it's really, that's really all it really boils down to. It's interesting though. Cause like, I, cause since I tapped in with you, I'm like, wow, they're really like, you know, it's like when you first get introduced to a new music scene, right? And you're like, mm. wow, this shit is so fire. Like there's so much more. Cause obviously, you know, being like mainstream, you see like the Jacks, you see the Brysons, and then it's like when you really get like when you go past that and you kind of like start seeing everything else that goes on and say like it's fire. Right. Like, I think it's tough. Yeah, like with me, like I've been that nigga. Like I did a song, like me, I did a song with Bryson right before he made it. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Uh, Jack Harlow, like before he blew up, like a lot of people that was a part of his camps and stuff, they used to reach out to me. To, but it just, he was younger than me, so it didn't make no sense. You know what I'm saying? But I always thought he was dope. I always thought Bryson was dope. Everybody, everybody that came out of the city, they know who I am. I've always been a nigga though. Right. This music shit. You had to change your name recently too. I will not change, but you took out. You had to take out the the A. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah. Because you know it's a show on FX called Tyrant. Then right. It's another artist called Tyrant. It's a rock and roll group called Tyrant. So it's like a Cali Uchi song called Tyrant or something yeah, like that. That's got know, like millions and millions of views. Yeah. And shit so like that. so yeah. it's like. So it's like you know it's just you know it happened to Biggie Smalls. He had to change his name to Notorious yep, B.I.G. Yep, it happened yep. to. Uh, I think 38 Special had to change his name to uh, from 38 Special because of Rock and Roll Group, and I think Common Sense, 
Common. Common, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it happens. It's something that happens, you know what I'm saying? Great minds think alike. We are artists and creators, so some people might have thought of it before me. And I was going to say, it's kind of like, it's kind of, it seems like a, a a rite of passage for a lot of people, too. Yeah, because it's, it's, I mean, because you know, who wants to change their name? You know, you come up with your right, name, you get yeah. your name, you know what I mean? And then you got to fucking change it because some shit that you didn't even know about. But honestly, I think without the A, it's kind of cooler. Yeah. First, so just I'm have to look at it like that, too. Just a little Because, like, even the other artist that we saw that was named Tyron, you like, he hasn't rapped in a while. It's like some Mexican guy from the West Coast. He yeah, really he's, he's dope, minute. too. I checked this shit out. Like, trust me, I done checked out every Tyron. It's other Tyrons, too. <laughs> But he's the one that was popping. You know what I'm saying? He was the one that had the biggest buzz. Then it was the TV show and the rock group. He was the one that you that you fuck with the most out of all of them. Yeah, out of all of them. I liked, it. I liked his shit the most. I was like, all right, he's dope. Shout out to other Tyron, wherever, yeah, shout you, out to you, wherever you are at this yeah. point. So right now, you're kind of like in that process of rebranding everything and kind of getting everything together and getting to that point again, correct? Mm-hmm. It's cool. Yeah. I mean, it's it's like what happened was it start take shit start taking off for me, mm. and now shit like I got to be addressed. You know what I mean? Because when we doing, you know, going back to the, you know, uh, you know, collecting the royalties for old songs and doing all the publishing, and right? Now it's got to be, you know, you got to get your paperwork right and in order to get all the business right. You need to change the name to make sure that from now on everything gonna go smooth. A little bit you know, of a pain in the ass. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah for sure. It's a little bit. You did uh, BT. Yeah, that, yeah, I did 106 in Park. When did you do 106 in Park? Man, this is shit. Oh, it was a long time ago, man. Uh, it was the crazy thing about it, they didn't believe I was freestyling. Really? Yeah, yeah, they said Can I wasn't freestyling. you find the video on YouTube? Because I know you did it, but, I, don't, but I, like, uh, I couldn't find the video. I don't know. I don't even look for it, because that shit, like, I, I know, pissed yeah, me off. I'm like, I'm not freestyling. It's like, yeah, we know you're not freestyling. There's no way you... I still remember, like, I seen it, and I remember what I said, and I know why they said I wasn't freestyling, but I'm like... I can just rhyme like it. But back then, once again, you asked about coming out of places like Kentucky. People don't expect somebody from Louisville, Kentucky to be able to rap how I can rap. Right. Just to be honest. Right. I'm from the South. So how can I, you know, how can I put syllables together and rhyme better than people that's not from Kentucky? You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So they don't wanna, you know, a lot of people ain't gonna wanna give me up. Can you give me a bar from the 106 in Park Freestyle for anybody who may have not seen it? Yeah, I started, it. I said, I said, he think his raps is savage because his hat is matching his jacket, but my rapping tactics is slap him back in the whack his brackets, ask him. And it was like, nah, bro, you wrote that. And I'm like, how would I know what he had on? I didn't see him till just now. I can fully understand why they thought you wrote that. Yeah, that's cool. They, I can fully understand why. Like, cause that's like, that sounds, it's just like, there's no thoughts. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's not like a, a pause to think about what the next bar is going to be. It's just like straight through, which is like... I mean, with freestyling with me, like I got, it's just like playing ball. You know, Jordan had good days, he got bad days. So some days I might be off a little bit. Some mm -hmm. days I might be on a little bit more than I was the other day. And some days I might be in rare form, depending on the circumstances. How, like for any of like the young guys out there who really kind of like want to become good freestylers, like how do you even, how do you begin to train yourself to do that? Or were you just, I mean, obviously you've, you've always been in the music stuff, but how do you like train yourself to like become a good freestyler? Honestly, I started off, just mumbling, just mumbling sounds. I was a kid. I used to just, my sisters would be like, man, shut up. Shut the fuck up. I'm just running around mumbling shit. Then I start doing, when I learned my ABCs, I started doing that shit, just rapping. That's funny. And then like, I was just, my pops, he listened to all the music and shit. So, you know, he's listening to everything. West Side Connection, he's listening to all the East Coast, West Coast music, Down South music. He listened to everything. So I'm learning they shit and I just start rapping over they shit. Mm. Just freestyling over they shit. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, that's really just so really it's, it's persistence it's, it's consistency just keep pushing for it and try to clear your mind don't think mm -hmm. don't think you just rap you just rap just rap yeah and over time you're gonna get if you just keep doing that mm -hmm. you know i ain't gonna say you're gonna be good as me with it but you'll be good you know what i'm saying you'll be good <laughs> you heard him on that shit. it really was kind of cool throwing you words i want to do more of those i mean we'll be doing more of these yeah, uh, yeah, for sure. um you you were talking about so you did that song Rome streets and um and ransom and ransom and you've been on Two of Ransom's projects so far. Yeah. Third one on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He coming out with another one. I'm on there too. How do you meet Ransom? How does that connection first ha happen? Uh, my brother Danny Myers. He's a he's a famous battle rapper. He's the best battle rapper in the world. You right. Know what I'm saying. Shout out Danny Myers. You killing that. But I don't know which camera is focused on me. But Danny Myers is better than all you niggas. <laughs> Let y'all know that now. Yeah. So Danny, you know he 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 knows every, like anytime he meets somebody. For the next after after they tell him what they think about him, the next thing he say is, "Man, my brother's the best rapper in the world." And then I just get a phone call and he'll be like, "Hey, it's just Cricket I rap, mm -hmm. freestyle right now." Cricket throw him a word and I'm freestyling. Ransom throw him a word and I'm freestyling. So Ransom's like, 
he was like, man, I already didn't see. I put out a song called The Story of OJ. And he had seen it, and he mm-hmm. was like, I already seen dude. Like, what's up? I'm trying to fuck with you. Right. And I was, you know, he's a legend. So I'm like, me? You trying to fuck with me? He's like, yeah. So yeah. rest is history. And from him, you know, we did that second feature, and that's what I did the second feature on it on his second album. That's what ran me up. Now I got a little, you know, situation going on. You feel me? So what little situation you got going on? I mean, you know, I don't, like. Shout out to R. Burn, you know what I'm saying? My people's in the West Coast, R. Burn, TK Picasso, you know what I'm saying? Doc, Diop, the whole team out there on the West Coast. They uh they reached out to me and we working together right now to make some, you know, some big things happen. You feel me? Ooh, got a little, yeah. a little something, something. I mean, they're responsible for, you know, artists like Draco the Ruler, O3 Greedo, Shoreline Mafia, you know what I'm saying? Just do your, do your research on them. Couple me? a couple small artists, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Nobody, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nobody, nobody too big, big nobody too big, nobody too legendary out yeah, here. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So Long Live the Ruler. Yeah, long live the ruler. So when they reached out to me and they like, you know, you know, like, man, this shit's for real, bro. Like, we ain't heard no shit like that coming from out. That's the same shit that we saying. Right. So it's like, it's a gift and a curse because the same reason why it's so hard to make it out of Kentucky, out of Louisville, Kentucky, is the same reason why the shit's working for me and why it's going so crazy because mm-hmm. people can't believe that it's coming like it's from out there. No, I know, and I, and I definitely see that. And that's cool that they reached out to you, and they're like, yo, we ain't seen some shit, li- shit like this before. Because really, like, I ain't really seen some shit like this before either, or at least in today's it. popular culture and media and shit like that, too. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right, well, Louisville, Kentucky definitely got it. I say, I'm going to say this every time I do an interview. Uh, Louisville, Kentucky's where it's at, man. Who else from uh, Louisville do we have to look out for? You know what I'm saying? Everybody. Everybody. Well, give me some names, because like, I, I like to know, you know I what mean, I'm saying? I like to hear the names and so I can look them up properly and kind of get in touch with their music, like how I got in touch with you. I mean, it's, I, I can't, it's hard because there's so many artists, man. It's, I'm going to say everybody. I'm going to give you some names. I'm going to sit down on the after this because I'm on the spot. But everybody, the whole Louisville, Kentucky, man, we the shit. Ain't nobody fucking with us. Ain't mm. nobody fucking with us. Look at, look, at the, look at the results. Right. Everybody that then came out the city, what they do. Yeah. Number ones, a lot number of number ones, a lot, lot of number, number ones. ones. Even before the even before the new wave of us now, yeah. Look at uh, Static Major. Yeah, he's still being sampled in major hits. He's still being, you know what I mean? Like it's still going on. You feel me? So it's like, you know, we the shit. That's how I love it. Look before that, Muhammad Ali. Mm-hmm. What was he doing? The sh- he was the shit. Dominating shit. You feel me? He so, was the shit. That's what we do. It's Louisville. You got this record, uh, Little Italy, out now. Yeah, which yeah, which is yeah, kind yeah, of amazing yeah. because I love how this like New York trip you like took the picture of the little Italy sign and yeah. like I was like I like the branding that he's doing with this one. Um, what what's the meaning behind this song? Because I know it's also in a way kind of like a homage and, and like right. tribute in a sense. Also, yeah, I'm a I'm a I'm a big pun fan. You know what I'm saying? Like so when I was growing up, I heard big pun. You feel me? As a as a baby, but when I grew up, mm. you know what I'm saying? I actually got to listen to him and hear how he be rapping. And this one song, he was like. Dead in the middle of Little Italy. Uh, little did we know we riddled with middlemen who didn't do diddling. I'm like, damn. I ain't never heard nobody rap like that. Right. To put every line together like that. So I was like, you know what? I think it's right. It's only right, you feel me, to pay homage back to him and, and take his shit to the next level with it. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So that's what I did with the track. You that's feel me? fire. You got to send that to like Fat Joe and shit like that. You I know, man. I want Fat Joe to... Man, I want Fat Joe to... One of my dreams is to see Fat Joe do a Jopa moment. Like, man, I heard his fucking... Who is this dude? When he hears what I did, cause yeah. I took the, you know, the dead in the middle a little it, and I expanded it. Mm. Feel me? Cause I've heard people try to do it before, but you know, I don't think nobody could do it like Punt, and I don't think nobody could do it like me. No one could do it like Tyrant. Right, exactly. So after the after the single, right? People could go check that out right now. Make sure you go stream that. Go show us some love. You know sure. that love and support is free. After the single, what are you doing next? Like, what's after that? Man, we got so much stuff coming out, man. I'm I'm, I'm just shooting video. I done shot so many videos. It's just gonna we just dropping. We dropping, we giving the people what they want. We gonna build it to a certain level, and I'm gonna give them a project. I mean, it's just that simple, right? You know what I'm and after that, I have another one ready for them, and another one ready. You know, this is a machine. The machine work. And now that we got the name stuff situated, everything can kind of go back to being how it was and shit. <sighs> man, yeah, that shit was crazy, man. You know, it's, just, it's certain things that you know. What I'm saying when you get in, that's another thing. If people need to understand when you trying to get in the music industry, understand it's a business, and it's certain shit that gotta go on before you can. Do what you want to do. You got to get shit in order first. Mm-hmm. You could just jump out the window and do whatever, but then how could you? You might not be able to capitalize on your moment because you didn't take the right steps. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it was just necessary. Just necessary. Do we have a name for the album yet? Uh, which one? I got a lot. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> you look, want me to throw names at you like we did the freestyle? Hey, hey, we can. That's how hard I be working, man. And that's another thing, you know, uh, 
I, I feel like I'm extremely talented. I feel like it's a lot of artists out here that are extremely talented as far as lyric wise, as far as the skill set. But a problem that people don't understand is that hard work out beats talent. So nice. you could you could be, you know, as talented as you want to be, but if you ain't not here working, that shit don't mean nothing. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I ain't really even focused on like I got so much shit ready, you know what I'm saying, that it's gonna. This is gonna be a wave. It ain't even a. The, that's the, I just call it the wave. The God wave. It's the coming. God wave is coming. God wave is coming. God, maybe that's the name of the album. Hey, it might be. Might be the name of the album. Well, we got Little Italy uh, out now. Um, sure. Big Pun tribute. Uh, we got the freestyle out now. Super dope. Super different. Super like different than anything we've ever done with the freestyles before. So appreciate you for bringing something different to the table today. Man, thank uh, you. Because we're very very appreciative of it, and it was fire. Um, Anything else you want to let the people know before we sign off here for the day where they can follow you at all that good stuff, this camera right here. All right, listen, you can check me out on all social media at The Godism. It's T-H-E-G-O-D-I-S-M. Godism. And the only other thing I got to tell y'all is this is God, nigga. You hear me? Louisville. in a building. Louisville is in the building. First ever Louisville artist to hop on the show. You know what I'm saying? Just so y'all know. Just for this is also for me for the future, in case I ever wonder who was the first Louisville artist up on the show. It was Tyrant. All right. Um, so make sure you go run up Little Italy out now, run up the freestyle out now. Like I said, super different, super unique. Go show him some love. Go show him some support. He told you his IG. All that shit is free. You already knew that though. It's on the radar, baby. My guy. Much love. Bow. <laughs>